20 years ago, the last dragon was reborn. We don't know where or to whom. What I do know is that my mission is to find them. The dragon is a figure in the books who destroyed the world. They have this big event 3,000 years ago called the Breaking. Um, and the dragon is responsible for that event. And now, 3,000 years later, our characters, namely Moiraine, believes the dragon has been reborn. And that because the dragon is back, it could mean that another breaking is coming or that perhaps a saving of the world is coming. And so this figure that will change so much, um, will affect so much in our world, finding out who that is, is very important for Moiraine. We thought of the dragon instead of as Jesus, as the Dalai Lama reborn, and sort of thinking about what does it mean to find the Dalai Lama reborn? How do the people who do that go about it? What do they think about it? What do they feel? What does the person who goes through that feel? Um, and I think that was a really good way for us to approach this idea of who is the dragon, which is such an important question in the show, and can you ever really know? It's someone that's kind of been feared and who has this incredible power, and I guess that's where, you know, the Aes Sedai come in and have been a massive influence in, in um, kind of protecting the world and, and being the balance with kind of good and evil, not defeating it, the balance, which is again, something that I love. Yeah, well, that's an interesting thing about the, the Wheel of Time in general, how everything is repeating itself and the, the trust that people have in that and the dragon is, is just that way he's feared. He's very much feared. I just think it's very interesting that we have no idea who it is and, and the way it's revealed in the show as well is gonna be very creatively done. So, so far watching it played this way has been really exciting. I think that Wheel of Time and one of the things that's most interesting about it is not ultimately a story of good versus evil. It is ultimately a story of balance versus imbalance. And I think that's one of the best things about it and one of the things that we've we've sort of taken on from the beginning and tried to find in every character, in every storyline, in every aspect of the world. And so I think for us, you know, in some ways the antagonist is in balance um, and, and finding ways to to bring that balance into the world. And that is what most of our characters are actually hunting for when you get right down to it into the books. It's hard to say who is a villain and who is the hero, I think. Because, you know, a lot of characters have dark and light in them. Um, I think the obvious answer would be the dark one. But I think what's beautiful about the show is that there's a lot of mystery, like there's no Solid, like solidified answer to who was bad and who was good from the get-go, which is really nice. I mean, even we don't really know. So there's the Dark One who we kind of were kind of introduced to um, as the kind of disruption hits the, the, the two rivers and the kind of the gang are kind of introduced to these kind of creatures and entities that they that never come across before. Um, Moraine and, and, and Lan, we start to learn more about the different powers that are at work at this world and they kind of all kind of spawn from um, kind of the dark one and without even knowing too much of it or without even knowing how much is true and who to believe, they kind of, they can kind of trust in the fact that it's disrupted everything that they know and love. So without, um, yeah, without them coming face to face with it that many times, the gang uh, are very quick to assume that it's against everything that they've kind of known, really. I think what's really interesting about the Dark One and the Forsaken is that the Forsaken are people who've been corrupted by a desire for power, wisdom, you know, glory. Um, and that to me in many ways is more interesting than uh, necessarily just raw evil. Um, and what evil is and what does that really mean in our world. Um, so I think that the Forsaken are amazing characters. I, some of my favorite stuff in the book is from the Forsaken. And so trying to infuse some of that into the first season is really important because I think the characters um, can see more of themselves in those in those human versions of, of what it means to be corrupted, so to speak, by the Dark One. I think in the show you will feel that it's an end of an age almost and that things are going to change, that the shadow is, is coming. 
Who is the Dragon Reborn?